All right, here is a lesson on how to make a bed in Fusion 360 for a house model. So first step is to create a sketch. I'm going to do it from the top down perspective. And all I need is a rectangle for my bed. Now we are doing 1 to 50 scale. So if you want your bed to be about 2 meters tall, that would be 40. So that would be 2,000 millimeters divided by 50. And so 40 millimeters for the height. And then for the width, it's about half of that. So I'll go with 20. Okay. So there's a basic kind of single bed size. And my next step would be to extrude that. And based off of, you know, how tall you want your bed to be, uh, let's say it's half a meter tall. So maybe that's only uh, 10. Okay. Uh, so there's my bed, and say OK to that. Now, this has really sharp edges all over the place, which most beds, of course, don't have. So I'm going to show you a fillet tool here. Um, I think the corners would definitely be significantly rounded, so maybe like three or something like that. Okay, you can always change those numbers later. I'll grab all four corners. I have to hold the Control button down to get another one and another one, and then OK. So that kind of rounds off this, the four corners, but I also want to round the top. It's, your bed is not going to be so flat like a table. So I'm going to fill it again. This time I can do the whole surface, I believe, and it's going to be maybe less of a fillet, so I'll try a one. Do I like that? I think I do. That's not bad. Okay, so that would represent maybe the mattress and the box spring. You could make them separate or together. It probably doesn't matter for this type of a model. Uh, but I do want to make it extra cool. So I'm going to sketch a new one. Let's create a sketch on the top of the bed. I'm going to put sheets. So I want another rectangle, this time uh, slightly bigger than the bed itself, not by much. And I could dimension it to make sure it's kind of precise. Maybe it's just one millimeter away from the bed. I even think maybe half a millimeter and enter. Okay, so it's really tight. This is for sheets, so it's really thin. So I'll dimension the other side as well, and I'll click on this one to make it the same. And then lastly, at the bottom, I want the same thickness. I'll plop it down, but then I'll click back to this first dimension. So if I ever change that dimension, all three would automatically change. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little too high at the moment. I do want to make a pillow as well. So I'm going to just drag this a little bit down, maybe there. Okay, finish the sketch. I want to extrude this. Make sure you get it all. And it's going to go maybe halfway down the bed. And it's going to be backwards, so maybe negative 0.25 might work. And I don't want to cut. I want a new body. And I could take a look from a different perspective to make sure uh, I'm getting what I want. Oh, not, not 0.25, but uh, how high did I go? I went 10, so maybe 5. And then we got to put negative. Yeah, there we go. So the sheets are kind of hanging off of the side of the bed here. And I can click OK to that. New body is good. And so right now they're occupying the same space, which is okay, I guess. But I want to actually do the combine where the this object is going to lose some material because of, let's try that again, combine. This object is going to lose that middle material because of that object. It's a cut, but I want to keep the mattress okay. So did that work? Ah, I, I know what I did. So you can always go back and change things. I forgot that I wanted to do two directions in this one. So, oops, try again. I wanted a little bit of height, right? Because the sheets stick up a little bit. So instead of one side, I do want two sides. It's asymmetrical. This one is a one. Okay, we've got negative five. Maybe I just can drag it up a little bit. Okay, so this is, maybe it's negative negative 0.5, same as the thickness, negative 0.5, there we go, and 
Okay, and that should update everything. There we go. Now I've got the sheets that are on top of the bed, but you'll notice they have sharp edges again. So I would um, do the same fillets for some of these things. So I did these two as a three, and that'll match the bed. And then what else? The top edges, or the whole thing maybe even. I could try a fillet again. Top, and this is just a very small fillet. Uh, what did I do? One. Is that going to look good? That looks pretty good right there. Yeah, it matches the contours of the mattress. So we have some sheets now on our bed. And you could start to use appearances to make it look extra cool. So I'm going to hit A on my keyboard, which brings up the appearance toolbar. Um, they do have fabrics here. And so what if I tried uh, the white fabric? See what that looks like. Okay, that looks a little weird. I think sometimes there's a glitch in some of these materials. I'm going to keep trying something else. Uh, there's cloth. Maybe maybe try blue fabric. Oh. But I have to. Sometimes you have to download them. They may not be installed fully, but if you just click on the little arrow. Oops, I lost it. Let's try it again. Click on the little arrow. And it's downloaded now. And try that one. It's still giving me an error. So you can try really anything. I think the ABS, I know ABS works. I wanted fabric look, but uh, apparently it's not working at the moment. So there you go. You kind of have a different color for your sheets. Um, okay, a couple more things maybe. Uh, maybe I'll just make a pillow. So I could sketch right on the mattress surface again, and I can have my pillow. You could look up specific dimensions, but I'm sure there's lots of different kinds of pillows. Probably doesn't matter too much. If you want it to be perfectly centered, you could try dimensioning it. On one side, I just hit enter, and then there's a little trick for you to make sure things are centered. Other side, and then I go, just hit enter, uh, and I go to this one, and I make it equal to the other one, or vice versa. Okay. There we go. So they're centered now. You could change the number over here to a round number if you like. It doesn't really matter. And then you can position it perfectly up and down too, but I don't think it matters. Pillows move around. So that's fine. Finish sketch. Give it some height this time. Maybe what? Uh, three? No. Um, eh, it's not bad. And I don't want it to join. Uh, I want it as a new body. And okay. And now, again, mat, uh, pillows are not sharp edges, so I go back to fill. It's a very common tool. Let's try the whole surface. And the amount, I don't know, two. That's not bad. Or maybe one. You can um, try different numbers, one and a half, whatever you want. Or maybe even three. No, three's too big. So that, oh, that says 13 now. So, no. Now nah, that didn't work. So at some point you're gonna try to you're over filleting it. So you can fiddle with that. You know, give it some roundness, and then you could give it an appearance that is even maybe different from something else. So if I go down and try some other materials. You could have any color you want. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's a cool pillow. All right. So this would now be 3D printable. You could actually get it to be in, in two colors. So let's say if I put the, the sheets and the pillow as one color and the bed as another, I'll quickly show you how to turn it into um, a two-color print for a, two, a double extruder printer, dual extrusion if you have it. I'm going to expand the bodies and I have three separate objects and they can all be exported separately. You could label them if you want. It, in this case it doesn't really matter. But if I go save as a mesh, so that'll be the mattress itself, and I like to put it on high if you don't already have it and just say okay. And then you could call it whatever you want and save it in your folder, OneDrive, yeah, 
and designs is where I keep my stuff. So save the mattress, and then this is the sheets. You could go save as a mesh, and the default should remember your high setting now. And this is sheets. Uh, hold on, I do not want to be a K file. I just want sheets and uh, for bed. Okay, that's good. And then lastly would be the pillow. Save as a mesh. Okay, call it pillow. And now I have three separate objects, but if I go into Cura, clear the build plate and prepare, now I can load all three of those and I can tell it what to print with which color. So there's all three things. Uh, the mattress is set to extruder one, which is black. Uh, the pillow, I can set it to extruder two and the sheet as well, extruder two. So now they're uh, gonna print in different colors and I can go control A to select them all and then control alt G is a group and it magically puts them all back together exactly where you wanted them. And this is ready for 3D printing. I kind of like this one, I think I will print it. And it's only 24 minutes, you can check your preview. I've got it on uh, the skirt setting at the beginning, so I won't have to remove anything. If you have brim on, you'll have to just remove the brim, but I like this setting sometimes for something easy like this, and it should give a nice result. So that is sent to the printer, and that's it for making a little bed for your model.